beloved i welcome you once again to this channel i am here to inspire you with the word of god from apostle joshua sermon no matter how old you are or how bad the journey has been you only need god to catch up with time remember the bible say all things work together for good for those who trust in the lord stay blessed and enjoy this video and when the devil wants to destroy a man he does something to your time so that time continues to pass with no corresponding achievements represented in it this is what we call delay this is what we call stagnation this is what we call retrogression i want you to listen the biblical proof of delay is when only your age is growing nothing else grows in your life only your age you just keep adding days but no corresponding achievements was it not your bible that said teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom what is the wisdom to redeem the time to walk circumspectly as wise and not as unwise many of us right now culturally speaking or by reason of our background you started with time already against you you got born again late it took you many years to argue about the word of god and the ministry of the holy spirit finally you got filled with the holy spirit now you are 50 years 40 years 30 years 60 years probably and there is still a lot to be done there are two ways god helps men with respect to time number one is speed number two is restoration these are the forces of advantage allocated to help men gain time let me repeat again number one is speed number two is restoration restoration is god taking the events that should have happened and bringing it to your future to happen and i will restore the years it is not only things god restores he can restore years years of doing error in ministry you started ministry early but because of poor mentorship for 10 years you were doing a lot of rubbish now you got serious with god and discovered that you've wasted 10 years by that 10 years you would have had some level of establishment now now you have to start afresh again you don't need progress you need speed progress is forward movement speed is not just for you to move forward it is to gain the time you have lost and that grace must come on somebody this morning your bible says and the hand of the lord came upon elijah is that in your bible elijah did not have a chariot but the bible says he ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of ahab even down to jezreel number two the bible talks about jesus he left to a solitary place to pray and the bible says the disciples used the boat and they went ahead of him they were six hours ahead of jesus you would have called that delay but he got up from the place of prayer and he turned and started walking on water he walked on water and caught up with them they were even afraid they thought it was a ghost he said no be not afraid it is i peter said if it be thou let me step into that possibility too how come we're using boats and laboring and you just walk on water like that there are times you don't need the water to part you can walk on it some of you are supposed to have obtained this grace you've been praying forever for the river to pass and god says listen this river is not going to pass walk on it the grace for speed number four the last of the many anointings you'll be receiving is the grace for signs and wonders I taught a bit on it yesterday you may want to get the teaching signs and wonders the supernatural the miraculous signs and wonders are beyond just healing no commanding possibilities over lives over territories it is a grace for signs and wonders that will make all men look for you not everyone is sick but everyone needs supernatural possibilities in their lives you can program a climate of favor over businessmen I didn't even add that one that is a very important one we can spend the whole day this grace for favor i didn't even add it you may add it as a fifth one 
because some of you that's why you came for this conference if you drop the grace for favor and you drop the grace for visibility for me I will pick favor do you know why hmm. the number one reason people succeed in life is because of the favor of God the proof of favor is not money no that is a proof of wisdom that is a proof of skill the proof of favor is access to the hearts of men listen carefully when you you know the favor of God is at work in your life through the tripartite coexistence of unusual kindness unusual access and unusual acceptance don't forget this if this tripartite combo are not working in your life it is not favor when the favor of God is at work in a life I, I remind you again unusual kindness unusual access and unusual acceptance we're going to pray I believe that Reverend Sam and his dear wife at the back of his heart is the desperate cry to see that by next year's advance that people come here with all kinds of testimonies and say Reverend Sam look what God used this conference to bring look the ministry that looked like nothing was happening that grace just came upon me grace for speed favor signs and wonders look what is now happening in my church I'm having the opportunity to become a blessing in a very very definite way I don't know if you've heard anything from all that I've said but in the next one minute I leave you with your maker cry from the depth of your heart remember that it is your hunger and thirst please cry from your heart man of God you are doing this for the sake of your congregation you are doing this for the sake of those your business people please pray I'm under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me I am under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me I am under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me Please make sure you pray I am victorious I have overcome I am victorious I have overcome I am victorious Hallelujah not too long ago I went to preach in a particular nation and when I got to that nation coincidentally our father in the Lord Baba Deboe also came to have a private meeting there and so I requested to just come and honor him and our mother and when I got there we, you know just cracked jokes and spoke and then I got down my knees and for the first time most times he would pray for me alone but this time around he was together with our mother and I will not tell you what they told me but I tell you the truth that if you receive that kind of blessing and prophecy upon your life you can go to bed it was it was from it was from the depth of his spirit and mommy was by his side and he released a blessing from his spirit man you see great men are made by secret experiences most of them don't share it but it does not mean it is not there 
there are many things that God has granted upon our heads that produce the things that we see if Reverend Sam should come up with his wife they would tell you striking moments where one thing after the other happened one thing after the other I remember one time I went to preach for a particular ministry and they kept me at the prayer city MFM and when I had finished preaching later in the night when everybody had gone to sleep protocol had gone nobody to disturb me I came out and I went to the prayer ground and I lay down there and I cried I said God I thank you for a rich prayer life that you have given me but there are people who have this as an office may that grace rest upon my life hallelujah I can tell you story upon story some of these people have gone to be with the Lord and so I have searched for those they imparted upon and say what did they tell you before they died I went to preach in a particular nation not too long it was an incredible meeting one of the highest they had, had in many many years 65,000 people and they told me they said one of the fathers of faith said the last time this happened was when Maurice Rulo came and I was his interpreter I said daddy that means he prayed for you I never had the opportunity to meet him sadly but can you pray for me said, ah, great apostle I said no leave what happened on, on the crusade ground what happened on the crusade ground is there please can you place something upon my head are we together I once met a group of widows all of them had lost their husbands they covenanted with themselves as a prayer group to keep praying for me that's all they do seven of them my god if these women pray for you seven of them successful people and I had the honor of meeting them and they were all happy wanting to kneel down I said I will not be that stupid I'm wise enough you've lost your husbands and you dedicated yourselves to pray for me I will be stupid to stand there and do MOG I got down my knees I said as mothers from the bowels of your spirit pour out that blessing let it come from the depth of your heart I don't know how many times I may have shared it in this blessed church my encounter with equity you know the long life encounter and I remember the high point of it was not the fact that the oldest man there prayed for me but I remember the wife of the man who had died 136 years and the wife was still alive and I pleaded with her someone interpreted what I was saying she only could speak Yoruba said please let this I don't know whether I'm a great-grandchild now or whatever I will call I said please and the woman tapped me we entered a room and she was showing me the photos that was the husband of her youth and you know those days they married as teenagers and I said please whatever it is that was on him that has been on her can she release on me she said kneel down and she removed her shoes and placed her legs on the ground and for 15 minutes this woman was reigning would you call her a grandmother a great grandmother's blessings listen I want you to know that God did not put this meeting this is beyond falling down and standing up this is reprogramming a plethora of graces just resting on your life and then to see what happened